Hi, my name's Lee, and this is me attempting to pursue my dream life. It's filled with trials and tribulations. Still making me feel very new to this whole adulting thing. But hey, nothing great in life ever came easy. Hey guys, so, oop, I better pause the music. <laughs> I am going to be helping Richard and being his assistant today and I am actually getting paid to do it which is insane first time it's been like a, a paying job of this sort so that's why I tried to look a little bit more professional aside from like not covering up that but I mean I'm gonna be wearing this all day so I was like no point in putting makeup on this part of my face <laughs> for assisting him he said that's not good I just got a message from my girl from work um anyway what I was trying to say we're gonna be going to the giant studio and he said he wants me to assist with posing the models so I'm not sure if they're new or not or if they just want me to help making everything look aesthetic while he focuses on actually taking the good pictures so we'll see <laughs> Quick introduction, my friend. Hello. Advertise yourself. <laughs> my name is David. <laughs> there you go. Try again. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Fade Cosplayer. And I smoke a lot of weed. And I dress up in shit. <laughs> How's it look? <laughs> oh yeah. my god, that looks amazing. No blue on the feet. <laughs> no, no, not on the feet yet. Oh my god. Is that great? That looks so cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Today was, in my books, an absolute success. I really hope that I get more opportunities like I did today. Maybe one day I'll actually get paid to be in a shoot, so that's the next goal. But I'm home finally, it's like 9.30, and I am just straight up exhausted. I think I'm just gonna call it a day and just go to bed, because tomorrow is another early day. Okay, maybe I'm being too honest here, but I'm kind of struggling to get dressed right now. Uh, <laughs> I've been unbelievably bloated for the past three days, it feels like, and normally I'm not like this bloated, so I'm like, hey, what the hell, am I gaining weight? Or is it literally just me being bloated because I had two fast food burgers the past two days in a row? Um, and I haven't, I haven't worked out in the past like five months because of the pandemic, so I haven't been able to like go to the gym. And it's I'm living in Canada, so now it's finally like, nice enough outside to like go for a run outside so i'm gonna like start that soon but kind of where my head is at right now so not a great start to my day but i'm gonna try to move past it and figure out what the hell i'm supposed to wear okay so here is what i ultimately decided with just oversized t-shirt with some biker shorts at least then you can't tell that i'm super bloated and i'm feeling like shit and i just want to feel good again uh so we're just gonna continue chugging water and drink tea, tea green tea for the rest of the day and avoid fast food. Also not wear makeup as much as humanly possible this week because I want this to feel better too because I'm actually like in a lot of pain right now. It's not even just look shitty. <laughs> Sorry, this is like, I don't mean to be so negative. It, it, you know, sometimes you just have those days, but uh, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna talk about the docket for today. So uh, tomorrow is Scrappy Wednesday and I have not even started editing a video for tomorrow. Not great. Um, plan is after my nail appointment, which is literally, I need to leave in 40 minutes. After nail appointment, it's literally just gonna be sitting at this desk, editing to get this video up on, to not this specific, <laughs> my Scrappy Wednesday video out, but I haven't recorded my voice over, I haven't edited anything, woohoo. Okay, wow, I'm special kind of stupid. I completely forgot to make my weekly spread for this week. So I guess that's the first thing I'm doing before I go driving. <laughs> So 
as usual, my nails look amazing. They always do such a good job. Like, look at them. Now that that's done, it is time to go to Memory Express to grab my new hard drive. Cause yeah, a few days ago, uh, another one broke, but at least I didn't lose anything this time. It, I had a backup of everything on the second hard drive that I bought that same time. Mm, Dunkle. Hello. Okay. Hi. Uh -huh. I would just like a coupon for this. Oh, yeah, no Thanks so much. <laughs> Uh, finally home, okay. <laughs> Floor is clean, desk is clean, ready to finish my weekly spread while my hard drive is doubling up onto the new one. And also take a picture of these nails because they're just so pretty. I'm so happy with them. Good morning, guys. I am feeling like a drowned rat. I had a late night trying to get that video done and it did not get done. So I guess Scrappy Wednesday is not happening, but I'm gonna try my best to do it after my hair appointment today, which, I'm super pumped for because this, this is not cute. With this whole new COVID rules, uh, we have to call them, them to like come out and get us. Yeah, she's gonna be out here in a second and then we can get this, uh, this bad hair fixed. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have finished my morning chores, it is now finally time to get into full editing productivity mode. Since yesterday's video for my crafting channel did not get up on time, that is going to be my first priority for today. So I'm just finished downloading all the files for my Google Drive from that since when I originally had it onto a hard drive, that hard drive broke a few weeks ago. So that's gonna be my first thing, but that shouldn't take me more than like three to four hours to do since it's only a card tutorial. tell whether that final was easy or if I've just become very good at bullshitting my way through written essays. All right, it's been about an hour and a half and I've finished editing all the speed over clips and it is now ready for me to do a voiceover, but dad's gonna be home right away, which means I need to go get the smoothie that I told him I would bike to get. And yes, I did change. I got really cold. <laughs> the dreaded uphill. This is exactly what happens. <laughs> when you don't get to work out for five months. Okay, little check-in. It's been a few hours. I finished editing the voiceover, picked the music I wanted to use, I'm just doing the last rendering now. I normally end my days at 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm gonna get it uploaded and then I'm just gonna call it a night. Good morning guys, um, I had to wake up earlier today to make it my first day to start running again. The snow and ice has finally melted enough. Yeah, this is also what happens when I wet this bottle. Okay, wow, so uh, Richard just offered me another job, but unfortunately I have to work 2.30 to 6.30 at my other job that literally pays me like less than half, so that kind of sucks I have to give up four hours of a really good paying job for something that I actually doing compared to like just a retail job. But you know what? You do what you gotta do. So now uh, he said I can come for half that time and just get paid. So it's still more money in my pocket today. So I'm going to leave right now and get there as fast as I can. That looks amazing. Good job. Good job. All right, guys, I am officially, ah. <laughs> I'm officially exhausted and I'm just ready to go home. <laughs> I look hilarious. <laughs> I accidentally slept in, so it's gonna be a little bit of a later run today. The original plan was supposed to be help Richard organize his collection today. I'm sorry, I'm so tired, but I think I need today to catch up on editing more because last night I checked my bullet journal and I am very behind on my videos. So I need, I need today to catch up. So today's gonna be a relatively chill day.
that was a nice little visit with Alicia. Um, sadly, I didn't get the little clip of um, her walking to the door to greet me. <laughs> but yeah, she's now on her way to work. So now I'm going back home. I think, yeah, the rest of the night we'll be editing. You guys are being dumb. So dumb. Okay, I guess it's rant time. Hate the protesters that are talking about, we want to be unmasked. Open up Alberta, it's time. Like, no, it's not time. We're still in the middle of the pandemic. I don't want this to last. We're all trying to ba get back to normal. And the only way to get back to normal is if you just put on your mask <laughs> and just deal with it until we're good. Like, people are so dumb. Like, so dumb. People like that are up our chances to get this over with as fast as possible. Ugh, I don't want to be angry about this, but ah! And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I think I need to clean. Now that it's Sunday, uh, the first thing I know I definitely need to do is make next week's weekly spread because I don't want to be behind like I was this week. Like that was just, I wrote down my tasks for today. Make next week's spread. I've got to edit the speed over clips for my new bullet journal setup for my crafting channel. And I also need to finish my video. Um, everything's filmed and everything's recorded. It's literally just filling in the gaps. Sadly, that won't be the next video I release on the Leaf Factor. It will be this one because after about like halfway through editing that video, I was going through kind of a stressful time, you know, through period shit, everything just seems to be uh, a lot worse. So it was hard to focus on getting the video done. And then in the middle of that stressful time, I came up with another video and kind of used that as like a therapeutic way to help calm myself down. So that really helped. And to give just like a little sneaky peek of it, it kind of gives an explanation to my whole channel kind of shifting. If you've been on my channel for basically since I kind of tried to start it in 2017, it's going through a lot of weird shifts, kind of throwing a lot of things at the wall to see what would stick and you know lots of gaps of not being around so when I finished writing it out it explained all of that thought process of why that was happening on my channel kind of like an essence of like some of Gem M's videos and best address videos kind of put together like almost like a movie but not like a short film like my what's my dream what's your dream was that has to be released before the video I don't know what I'm doing. She just told me to keep flipping it and now it just looks like gross. <laughs> Cook both sides of it for God. I've been trying to flip it into like one thing and it's not working. Clumsy, that's why. I... I'll wait for a while. Okay. <laughs> Points for trying. Because that's how you learn. You learn by failure. You don't learn by, oh, I did it right the first time I worked. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cup and it's flipping in, or you just did. I just did. Thanks. <laughs> And I figured since it is Sunday and it's the last day of this vlog as I am washing my face and kind of getting away all that grime from having to wear a mask for the past three hours, uh, I will talk to you guys about my thoughts of for how this week went. If you guys are new to my channel, at the end of every video I always say, and remember, think for yourself, use your head, and learn something new. I actually got that from my dad. He basically drilled that into my sister and I's brain every time he uh, dropped us off at school. And my sister would always just be like, whatever, dad. And I was like, <laughs> religious with it. And he was always just like, what do you gotta remember? And I'm like, think for yourself, use your head, learn something new. And he's like, yes. Literally every single day. So I thought it'd be a fun thing to put at the end of my channel, because it's true. You do need to think for yourself. You do need to use your head every day. And you do need to think for, you do need to learn something new every day. So, oh, when did I think for myself this week? Um, when I took, took the second offer from Richard, I could have said no because I already had a three hour shift, but I instead worked with him and thought, okay, can I do a half day and then just get paid half of what you're offering me? And then I basically got paid for a full eight hour day with Claire. 
and and him. So that was a thing I thought for myself. Um, when I was angry at the anti-maskers yesterday, that that was really annoying. But I used my head. When I helped Richard with the second shoot and we were figuring out what we could use for the set. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, uh, throughout this week, showing you guys my bare face most of the time kind of made me a little nervous because, I don't know, just having acne has never really been considered cute, not considered like a healthy thing. So, you know, it's just, especially with my super pale skin, it, redness shows up a lot worse than like an average skinned human. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, anyway, trying to go off the negative Nelly note. Um, we learned something new this week. What did I learn? I learned that I can really do this assisting job with Richard very well. Richard was very, very happy with how I set up the set and gave some ideas, especially with like that runway part, like that was my idea. And he said I did a good job there. And when I helped him on Monday, he said that I did a really good job there too. And the client really enjoyed their photos. A lot of the girls told me that it, me helping them pose helped them feel better because they weren't, weren't used to it and they've never done it before and they didn't think that they could look that good on camera. And I don't know, that made me happy. I was, I don't know, it just made me happy to be able to help someone's self-esteem even just like a little bit. So yeah, I think that's it. I think with that, I will end the week and end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, if you do want me to continue weekly vlogs, please give me a like because yeah, this was fun and not as stressful as I thought it was gonna be. Daily vlogs was hard when I tried doing that a few years ago, but a uh, week in my life thing was a lot less pressure and I had more fun doing it. So yeah, and with that, <laughs> remember, always remember, think for yourself, use your head, and learn something new. See you next Thursday. <laughs>